Sir, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Lumos. Ah, yes. Work in progress. Okay. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Whoa, everything looks good. Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, that looks You're good. You're a new student at the famed School of Witchcraft and Wizardry with a unique <laughs> ability to manipulate powerful ancient magic hidden in the wizarding world. You'll need to uncover what's behind the return of this forgotten magic and who is seeking to harness <laughs> it to destroy wizard kind, as you may be the one that decides the fate of the entire wizarding world. But before you can study magic and begin to solve these mysteries, you must create the witch or wizard you want to be. They look really good. When you arrive at Hogwarts, you will be sorted into one of the four Hogwarts houses. Gryffindor, Let's go. Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Slytherin. Wait, we get sorted? We don't get to choose? Dormitory, you will meet up with your housemates in the common room. You will then need to attend classes, and you do have some catching up to do, as you were starting Hogwarts late as a fifth year. So you are the new <gasps> student. You'll begin your studies attending Charms, Defense Against the Dark Arts. Oh my god, this looks really and good. Classes, to name a few. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Shall we begin? <laughs> welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. The best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Is that McGonagall? You may begin. Not bad for a beginner. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. Here you'll meet your professors and learn to cast spells, grow magical plants, brew potions and more. In between classes, you'll be able to explore the castle famous for its secrets enchantments wow. and mysteries you'll discover dungeons oh my and god did the paintings move this is crazy wow as well as challenging puzzles that will require magical skill and a clever mind to solve you may even find yourself in iconic locations Don't you've never be. been able to explore before It's the late 1800s, so while the common rooms and classes may be familiar, most of your professors will not be. However, you may recognize a few faces. Ah, all in good. <laughs> nice. Once the lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win them over. Oh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. Are we going to see Morning Myrtle? This eclectic group of talented witches and wizards in class and while completing side assignments that are part of a special curriculum. Ones designed to help you catch up with the other fifth years at your own speed. Lumos. Opportunities for adventure abound in the area surrounding Hogwarts. The magical abilities you learn to master through your schoolwork will soon become tested as you unravel a dangerous mystery by working alongside the accomplished and yet enigmatic Professor Fig to try and discover if the rumors of a mounting goblin rebellion hold any weight and if the safety of Hogwarts lies in the balance. I have opinions differ as to how great a threat he really is. I want to see more how the combat works. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. The wizarding world of this era is fraught with dangers. There we go. Creatures corrupted by a magical force, powerful goblins, 
and sinister witches and oh he's getting hit pretty easy fight, though even kill to achieve their own goals in fact nice. there's an uneasy alliance between the goblins and dark wizards and he's shouting out the spells too dogs me but all you <laughs> needed was a distraction I gave you a you do get to choose I just watched a student take down your distraction who is this child are you not telling me but perhaps you shouldn't involve yourself with that just yet let's go Let's go. Enemies possess unique defensive and Oh, I don't really abilities. like how the enemies are outlined. Stunning I wonder if you could turn that off. Weaponry and more. I mean, I guess that's how you can directly, see if you're like locked onto them. And incapacitate you. Mastery of the shield charm allows you to deflect ranged spells and direct weapon strikes. Counter attack with powerful stunning charms. I mean, this is pretty much exactly how I imagine the combat being, though, because like you're just using a wand. Students Do you get to choose a pet? Adept at spell casting will find many ways to exploit their enemy's weakness. It's like I don't see him with like an owl or anything. Ooh, nice combo! Oh my god, it has telekinesis too. Like telekinesis, not exactly whatever the spell is called, but. That should be a lot of fun Devastate throwing shit at people. Using various finishes. You can even use the mysterious powerful magic your professors do not understand to obliterate your strongest foes. Let's go. Mixing and matching dozens of spells will let you define your combat style. On your path to become the I love it. Tourist. Actually, this looks really good. you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. In addition to classes and spells, you'll have access to a deep set of upgrades, talents, and skills. It is making me more hype too. As a wizard. Complete challenges throughout the world to earn experience. Level up your abilities by choosing talents to upgrade your spells, plants, ah, yes. and potions to increase their power. Decide which talents <laughs> best nice. fit your playstyle to allow you to focus on your favorite types of magic. Let's go. You can also loot, buy, or craft your own magical gear that will increase your offensive and defensive They're capabilities moving. in combat. Ew. Gear can be upgraded and specialized to allow for greater abilities for your chosen playstyle. Use a strong, even motion when cutting your ingredients. This is what I want. I want beasts. Spells are not the only tools at your disposal in combat. As you hone your wand skills, you can continue to further your magical education. I want the fantastic beast. Progressing your development as a witch or wizard. Brew potions that can increase your power when you need a boost. This is wildly in depth. Like, grow and deploy magical plants. They're really doing a good job in capturing like at bay. all of the intricacies of, of the Harry Potter world. You can even unleash deadly mandrake seedlings to incapacitate unsuspecting enemies. <laughs> nice! Wow! In Beast class, you will learn about a variety of magical beasts you might encounter, Aww. both at school and as you explore the world surrounding the castle and its grounds. Oh my God! The could you tame them? Is to remind <gasps> all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. Oh. Learning and mastering broom flight is highly recommended so that you may travel around the world more quickly. <laughs> Wait, do you think they're going to have Quidditch? Do my herbology homework. You're despicable. Let's go. Some abilities may be taught to you by students who become your friends. As you develop relationships with these schoolmates, they can accompany you on your journey as your companions. And over time, you'll learn their stories. 
Is there a relationship system? This is our chance. Natsai Onai is a brave adventurer driven by the justice she seeks. Okay, Poppy so. Poppy Fleeting has a kind heart and loves magical beasts. Connecting oh, with them more easily so cool. than with humans. But what happens now? Unafraid of detention or breaking the rules. Sneaking in the restricted section. Oh God, no! Is Sebastian uh, Sallo, a charismatic Slytherin. We've been over this boy. things cannot reverse a curse. With a troubling family secret. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. You'll meet these students and more as you explore common rooms, hallways between classes, and regular gathering areas. So wait, how does multiplayer work Welcome then? To the room of or is this just single player? Like just you and whatever characters One of the they create most in the game. The secrets of Hogwarts is known as the Room of Requirement. You're introduced to this space that seems to sense what you need and then provides it for you. Really? Interesting. Since you need to catch up to your peers, the Room provides space for you to sow and harvest plants, brew potions, and upgrade your gear. A helpful house elf named Deke helps you discover vivariums that allow you to nurture your own menagerie of magical beasts. What is it? Deke is Let's go. Sure. Only one way to find out. You can freely customize this space to reflect your personality what? and magical specialties. Oh my god, are you kidding me? We don't just fly the broom? Everything you need on your journey is available at Hogwarts. You'll Wait, do we get a Patronus as well? Of Hogsmeade, How deep is this? Hi Austin! Where shops and vendors Hi, can provide you with the supplies you require. Oh my god! From potion ingredients and recipes, to seeds for magical plants, to all sorts of gear. But Hogsmeade also has its dangerous side. A band of dark witches and wizards emboldened by the turmoil of the times wander the village outskirts. You must avoid them or defeat them. As you explore, you'll find the world surrounding Hogwarts is alive with activity, wonders, and areas of unusual interest. Wow. As the school Are they going to have like night exclusive enemies? Will fill the sky with lightning or sunshine. Wow. Or coat the ground with snow or rain. Let's go. Unique wizarding hamlets pepper the countryside, each with vendors and residents who have stories this to tell. This looks really good. I'm and well, thank you. How are assistance. you? Be on the lookout for enchanting magical puzzles that may very well have been designed by Merlin himself when he was a student at Hogwarts. Magical beasts roam the lands outside the castle walls. Some have been corrupted by a mysterious dark magic, while others are at risk of poachers and their traps. If you're feeling benevolent, you can rescue them and restore them to health in the Rescue all the babies. But there are dangers beyond your understanding in the world as well. Dungeons and vaults hold perilous threats and also untold rewards. Be careful where this... you choose to explore, as it may lead you down a darker path. <laughs> Master spells. Befriend new allies. Journey across a landscape never seen before. Uncover Holy ancient crap. secrets. Combat mystical threats. Learn long forgotten mysteries. Become the witch or wizard you want to be as you leave your unique mark on the wizarding world. Yeah. In Hogwarts Legacy. That looked really good. Like, it is so much better than I imagined. Like, they're really going into, like, deeply into the spells, into the lore, like, the Fantastic Beasts, the, the potions, the different magic spells, the mounts, like, the, the broom, and the, I forget what the now flying creature's called. Wizards and witches behind the game. Oh, so they're gonna talk more about the game? That was super exciting. I, I'm pleased with this showcase. Um, what do you guys think? You loved it so much. Yeah, it was it actually exceeded my expectations. It looked way better than all of the other showings we we had of it. Um, it definitely looks like they put a lot of fandom and love into this game, which is 
kind of what we want out of a Harry Potter game. The combat looks fun. It looks like it should. I don't expect it to be like silky smooth, like sword play or whatever. Like obviously we're using wands, so there there is like a keep your distance and attack, but like there's stealth in it, which is cool, which obviously, yeah, there was a lot of stealth stuff in the Harry Potter books and movies. Um so and, and it, it feeds the play style. You can get beasts, I guess, to fight with you. Um I'm curious what they're gonna do with like Patronuses. You got your your broom. I don't know if they're gonna like implement some kind of like Quidditch mini game. But so far everything that I'm seeing looks really good where even if those things aren't present, I'm still probably gonna get this game and have fun. Seems like it's single player though. I wasn't sure. I thought it might have been like a multiplayer, but I think a single player experience might be better because then they're able to focus more on the world instead of like, you know, servers and matchmaking and shit like that. So I think I think that's a good call.